This month, there's a lot of information coming our way. Expect to unveil and discover all sorts of secrets. Also, you're very much a psychic detective. You can reach into a situation and see the truth. There's a new supermoon in Scorpio bringing out an intense new cycle. And also, there's going to be an eclipse, which is waking us up to a brand new sense of security. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Cancer, there's a lot of pleasure, creativity, wonder, passion and magic for you this month. Happy days and it all kicks off with, well, start to think about it before we get to the new supermoon on the 4th. If you hear this before the 4th, think about what new beginning do you want when it comes to love, creativity, passion, happiness and joy in your life. Because this new supermoon is a new beginning for you. You're surrendering anything that didn't make you happy and hopefully it's up to you but hopefully you'll make a commitment to your happiness and your creativity going forward venus is also going into your relationship zone so you've got this double whammy of fabulous when it comes to love and relationships and the potential to find true harmony and to sort out what feelings are real and what you can do to bring harmony into your life and if there's something in your life not working you can let it go also, it's a great month for drawing love, abundance, wild imaginings towards you and pleasure and happiness. So that sounds good to me. Mercury's going into your creativity zone, your happiness and joy zone. I mean, there's so, so many vibes there. In fact, Mercury and Mars are joining forces in that zone on November the 10th. So, you know, think about it. You're, you're, you're on a trip to happiness this month. And if anything's been holding you back... What can you take responsibility for? What can you say, right, I need to change this in me to, to allow more of a flip, free flow of that joy that you so rightly deserve? I mean, whew, there's so much potential for great things to happen. Uh, we do have a full moon in Taurus on the 19th as well. And that's in your community, uh, friendship, gatherings, get together, kind of collaboration zone. And there's a partial lunar eclipse there. If you've been hanging out with the wrong people or you've been collaborating with people and it's not working, you'll start to sense that. You may have, have an idea that something's not right. But equally, there may be a neon arrow from the cosmos pointing, pointing towards a new group of people or a new load of energy that you need to mix with to help you uh, achieve what you want to achieve. The sun is moving into Sagittarius. So from the 22nd, you're focusing on your health and well-being ditching bad habits, changing your lifestyle and your patterns to really, again, come into your power. And that should be the focus of you really sort of going within, taking some time out and, and sorting anything out in your life that's out of balance. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually. Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course, my website, michellenight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.